Hey you folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld! We are in the Lumber Mill with lots of mods, and in the last episode we finally set up a little bit of brewing. We'll probably move the w the brewery set up somewhere so it's not outdoors later, but that's okay, so it'll be a little slower. Um, that's fine, so we'll try to set up some alcohol stuff to keep our people happy, not to mention sell uh, things for great deals of money. People are mostly okay, um, mostly sleeping right now, but I think everyone is just about, if not completely over their illnesses. I mean, certainly immune to it. Penno, and I think if we take a look at our assignment, even on no drugs, we get people to take Panoxiclin every five days. Every five days. We might not have that much left, but that'll be okay. And we're going to try to construct it. So we are getting some power problems here at night. Um, we could get more battery storage, which might be fine. Um, actually, that's true. I'm, I'm talking about doing this. It's possible the batteries are 100% full um, throughout the day. So that would just be more storage. I assumed we just weren't producing enough to fill it, but I might be wrong. Um, we're, the batteries are pretty ugly, so having them hidden is usually pretty nice. Um, on the other hand, if this were roofed over here, then why not roof it, right? We could just put some batteries in here and that'd be fine. Cargo pods! What do we have? What is this? Apple soda! Hmm, how lovely. Now, I did notice... Excuse me. Ooh, hiccup. Uh, I did notice... I was looking at the cooking stuff. Oh, man. Could we prioritize these weapons and the drugs over here? Jeepers. Yeah, we clearly need, like, more people to be free uh, to do some hauling. Um, over here, I was looking at, like, if I could do different meals and things. Um, the stir-fried meals, it looks like they give you a boost to manipulation and blood filtration, which is kind of interesting. I don't know the stews. Consciousness, meta metabolism, blood filtration, and blood pumping. So we actually get a boost with some of these other meals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the fine meals down below the... Oops. There you go. Stir-fry and stew first. Then find meals, then go down the list over here. Um, if you ever get there. We actually might need to make two cooking counters at this point, because it's quite a long list of stuff. You're wearing the um, the medic's helmet. Which actually isn't all that bad, Mr. Cannibal. Um, <laughs> we're probably not going to be able to satisfy your cannibalism desire, unfortunately, Tim B Team Bizarro. Sorry about that. Sorry, not sorry, really. <laughs> uh, number of components are dropping rapidly. Luckily, we've got a lot of steel, so we can start producing them. Okay, so we're just going to roof that, and yeah, what I'm going to do is... Sticking a bunch of batteries here. We can put some walls or something, but people are just going to be like zooming by real quick. If we look at the batteries, um, what time is it? Uh, noon. They might not be filling up. I mean, we want more batteries in general, but it might not be a lack of batteries. It might just be the power generation. First of all, let me save a couple of bits by doing this because I really want this to get built. BLC, your drinking garden tea. Excellent. Uh, you need steel. Really? Did we use all of the steel already from that trade caravan? Man, oh man. Good thing we've got some mining. Now, I think the problem with mining is that you mine one chunk and then you go and build with it. Alright. I don't really like it, but I'm going to do this for now. This way, you're just going to keep mining rather than go and construct until you run out of things to mine. We might turn that down in a bit, but let's let's get a bunch of bulk mining done and then... At least it'll be there. Because right now, yeah, I think he'd mine one chunk and then go and construct with it. And then mine one chunk and go and construct with it, which is obviously really dumb. We have a lot of hay. No shortage there. Oh. We got another alpaca here. Alright. Research going for our deep ground scanner. Because we have the... Would that be on a production? Yeah, we have the deep drill. But we don't know where to put it. Alright. I haven't used as much. I know it's been in the game for a while. Wow. <laughs> this looks like a disaster waiting to happen. Um, I know I know it, um, it's been in the game for a while, but never had the need to do it because we always had other problems. But now it's like, you know, give me more material. I can keep building things forever here. Might want to put down some more auto doors, but not right now, just because it does eat components and steel and things. I don't know if it uses steel for the for the auto doors, which all they do use power though. Yeah, you can see like I don't think these batteries filled up during the day, so it's actually power generation. Um, so let me cancel these two batteries here. We'll get the solar panel down. Probably still build some batteries. 
Uh, I could turn off some guns. There's a lot of things that could switch off. You know what? Let's um, let's power off the crematorium for now. Um, I don't know if there's anything for you to smelt here. And use a lot of power. Let's turn you off for now. It's going to be okay. Whatever we could smelt now, we could also smelt later. So we'll deal with that when we get there. Let me do a pass to make sure everyone's armed. Oh, an eclipse. That's kind of unfortunate. I was going to say, do a pass to make sure everyone's armed. BLC doesn't matter because you're a pacifist. Paisley process. Careful shooter. I'll tell you what then. I will give you the assault rifle. Okay. Cassowary revenge. No, we're fine. It's downed. Usually is what happens. It's just when, like, when there are big packs of animals that we have to be a little more scared. Uh, limestone chunks out there. Fire starting spree for BLC. Okay. These are not all in the home zone. Um, it's probably a good idea then to do this so that it doesn't spread uncontrollably here. Okay, BLC, have fun. It'd be a lot better if you weren't doing this in the forest. Clips, power outages. You know, whatever. <laughs> Let's let it spread. What's the worst that could happen? Well, we could all die. And it's certainly going to be hard to fight the fire as it comes back to us. Hopefully we'll get some rain soon. It's foggy. Can't go forever without rain, right? That's a way to think about it. And the grass will burn out here, so it'll stop spreading at some point. We'll just keep bopping it every time it comes into the home zone. Jetlander is going to do some more digging over here. Or he's going to turn around and start cooking. There we go. Rainy thunderstorm. Boom. See? Everything's okay. Let me go and trim down the home area just to limit how much cleaning we have to do. We'll have to respond to some fires here perhaps later. But there we go. A little of that. It's going to be fine. Okay. Eclipse. Thunderstorm. We do get a little bit of power every time there's a lightning burst, which is kind of an amazing little Easter egg in the game. Refueling wood fire gen generator. No. Could you just haul the steel to the base? Thanks. And I might want to manually get you to work on the solar panel, actually. I want to keep the guns on. It's the one, the one type of defense that we're doing, even though it's kind of crazy. Still short on steel overall. So more mining... I and mean, we had a few things queued up that would have used steel as well, so it's not going to help. Uh, I'm worried about some more food rotting away, but I don't think it's going to happen too quickly. And then generator's got fuel, so there's a... I mean, I suppose I could just build a little bit more of that, too. We got some visitors. Hello. We might trade with you. What are your stats? Misandrist, dull, misandrist, masochist, brawler. Brawler, super immune, green thumb. Whoa. I mean, Brawler's a little annoying, but not the worst. You don't have that many skills, because I think you're you're young, right? Ah, 40. Hmm. Still, we'll recruit you. You'll be handy. I think we do need more bedrooms soon, though. I might want to go and, like, turn this into a couple of bedrooms, actually. Let's plan on something like that. What kind of wall is this? Sandstone. Do I have... I have slate. Slate and limestone. What? Let's well, we'll use the slate. Maybe just one bedroom over here, and the other could be some sort of like battery storage way out here on a switch or something. I don't know. Could be a little bedroom. It's kind of awkward. I can make a little bend, but that will actually like use up more room. That's not too bad. We'll need to get power out here, which actually will be a slight challenge. And use up some of my precious, precious steel. On the other hand, we do need to get some power lines out here at some point, regardless. To head towards the uh, generator. And you know what? That actually works out pretty well. Okay, that'll do. You'll see, you can eat a meal, and then probably go back to mining, which is good and fine. 
can do that. There's still lots to be mined, so it's not like we're out of steel. We're just kind of inconvenient when it comes to the actual miners. Um, I was going to say, do we have a prisoner here? No, no. But what I do want to do is see a quick trade. We could buy some food. We could buy herbal meds. I don't have much in the way of money. I prefer making money than anything else. Um, we're going to sell a handful of weapons. That's good plasteel knife, because we, and we've got a brawler we might be recruiting, so we're going to see what we can do with that. Sell the bow. Sell the poor heavy SMG. Probably not going to use much in the way of auto pistols going forward. We'll leave the rest. Sell that stuff. How much money do you have? Okay, that's more than you've got. So maybe I will buy some herbal meds. Just, there we go, like that. So we'll take all the silver you've got. You're gonna charm. Just keep trying to, try to keep the faction relationship high. Not to mention, <laughs> speaking of high, uh, not to mention uh, try to get that one recruiting, which would be nice. All right, tap, 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 tap. I mean, we might get some bugs out here. Um, no, they're just thin roofs. So they're not overhead mountain or anything. We just got kind of screwed over here that this is all, like, overhead mountainy. And speaking of, though, um, we actually never finished sealing this in completely. Because it's kind of annoying, because I have to do it one bit at a time. Now, this might start to get too small to get any bugs to, sp to spawn in there, but I thought that last time, too, so now I'm really paranoid. Okay, a little bit of battery power. Mid-afternoon, yeah. There, we just need the extra, at least one more generator, not to mention, um getting the geothermal would be particularly nice. Let's build our way up in that direction and see what we can do. Okay, we're going to have some people haul slash construct. Making armor vests. Could I get you to just haul as much steel as possible back to the base? There we go. That would be better. Rather than just walk out here for this. I could do a high priority haul, but basically... Oh, let's see. There you go. Oh, filling fermenting barrels. Nice. Yeah, just bring chunks of steel on your way back. That would be very lovely. So, we have beer! Beer being made. Here, here. Uh, right, different color. Is it just not... Oh, potatoes. Now, that's wart, though. 40, 40, wart. 10, 40. Oh, okay. It started, but it's not full yet. Okay. Oh, yeah, we will start to do that. You're going to consume a bowl of stew. So, yeah, I'm curious to see... Eight stew. Well-fed stew. That's really good. But we have a raid. <sighs> Alright. They're just primitives. Power situation's a little bit rough. Were they attacking right away? Oh, everyone's moving down here. I didn't actually read it. I think they're preparing for a bit. Uh, I'll recruit BLC. So you guys are going to dangerous area. Okay, I'm going to unrecruit everyone, but I will just restrict you to the home area for now. That's going to be fine. I don't suppose um, you've got enough to work on that. Yeah, work on the solar generator. Cheers, mate. That's going to be really nice. I'll have to react fairly quickly to them. I bet you they're going to come up. Oh, they're beginning their assault. Grab everyone except BLC. Recruit. No, sorry. Grab everyone except BLC. Recruit. There we go. Be nice if we could hit them there, but yeah, they're going to come up this way. Still, we should have some fairly good lines of sight for some of the combat here. We do have a lot of long-range weapons. Rose going to be in front just catching spears. Despite being a melee. Poor Rose. We do just have, like, very overwhelming amount of attacks. We don't have much in the way of cover, but... Oh, there we go. Being distracted over here. That's very good. But they're just using trees for cover, which are not ideal. We're hitting the one who's already downed. Uh, you guys are engaging over there. So, we're going to scooch down here and try to snipe these guys from a little bit of a distance, which I think will work. It'd be nice if we didn't have to repair the, or replace this gun. Come on, move your ass! Wish you could go to speed 3. There's a mod that allows you to always use speed 3. Just never get blocked. And that might be dangerous sometimes, but... Like, I'm okay with it automatically dropping to speed 1 when a raid starts. But if I want to move to speed 3 afterwards, just let me do it. 
I probably shouldn't have moved forward here, actually. There we go. They're going to flee. I'm just going to unrecruit. I don't see anyone wiggling. So we'll just go in unforbid everything. And I guess we'll have to power on the cremation. The cremator. All right, we got the extra solar panel up, which is great. Sun is rising. I think we actually had a trickle of power left here, probably from just having this turned off overnight. Or this one. I mean, that is 700 watts, the electric smelter. That is a ludicrous amount of power. So, leaving that off for now is probably a really good idea. We do. We might have some bits to smelt out there right now, but I'm betting we don't. So if we can just leave it, that would be good. We could do some high-priority hauling on the steel here, but it's not like it decays, so it's mostly okay. We'll get that built up, get that built up. I'm okay with having BLC go out and do some more mining here for now. Another bowl of stew. Drinking apple soda. Alright. Does the apple soda give you a boost? Either to health or soda refreshed. Wow. Yeah, you can get a lot of positive things here. Enhanced moving, manipulation, talking, eating, filtration. You're going to take a fine meal with you and then probably go and mine. You know, this is actually pretty helpful. Okay, I'm going to make the sodas from here. Fruit shine. No. Let's go back to... I think this one was on beer. I hope it was. Okay. That I think we make the sodas... Is it here? Fruit drink. Yeah, we're gonna need a we're gonna need a second um, stove setup. Should dry this area out is what we should do. It's like a lot of terrain that can't support it, which is kind of the problem. There we go. If we dry this area out here, we can build a little room, um, and maybe use that as our place to. You know, a second sort of kitchen. Close enough here. We can build a little auto door there, for example. That might be a good idea. Could even be, like, somewhat connected. Just to prevent too much temperature leakage. But we'll dry it out anyway. It'll be handy to be able to build in a, more of this area. You're having some power problems. Are you? Oh, because you were connected here and there's a missing power cable. Okay, that's all it was. All right, that's going to get built up a little bit by some people. BLC is just relaxing. Hey, can't blame you. you got to do that sometimes. Fully healed over here. No real injuries in that fight, which is lovely. Things are being kept really nicely clean by Stumpy Kitten. Food situation is very good. Sweets and drinks. Oh, yeah, there we go. Coffee, tea. Oh, that's wonderful stir-fry if we can get the stew going again that would be nice i mean i'm still mostly going to do a lot of like luxury meals and things but i don't know maybe we really should focus on the specialty stuff it's probably it's probably slightly more difficult to build but probably gives you boost for it and as long as it doesn't take more time it's not too bad because the raw food situation is okay it's mostly a question of the time investment sleep slow cooking stew <laughs> nice trying to improve relationships that's okay, too. We're all making more components. How are we on components here? Yeah, we're down to five. So, yeah, we are going to have to keep producing this stuff non-stop. Our drug production job over here. Which I assume is just crafting. Allowed intellectual skill. Wait, really? Really? Hold on. Oops. No, crafting. Yeah, I don't know. So, like BLC, I'm not going to actually get you to do it. We'll never product produce drugs at a drug lab. Why, is it because you're a teetotaler? No. Is it a min skill? Is it does it use crafting but you need to be intellectual? 
Ooh, pirate caravan. Because you'll do it. Because you have intellectual. But it's a crafting job. I'm very confused, but okay. Um, so, pirate caravan. Assace. Where's the caravan? It was to the north. Just gonna let them get a little closer. We don't have much in the way of gold, but doesn't mean we can't do a lot of trading. We don't have much in the way of drugs either, but we have some, and I think they will buy it. Is that guy named Bad Luck? Wow. That's great. I love it. Alright. Go and meet up with Sugar. So, we've got you, and you're connected to the grid. Um, I mean, we could sell some of our alpacas for money, but they're not worth that much. We'll sell you some yayo. Not worth very much either, but we'll do what we can. Uh, we could buy some peno, but we're going to just try to craft our own here. Sell the gold, but no. Wow, that's really it? We could sell all this insect jelly if we really wanted a bunch of silver. No, done. Yeah, we'll have to grow some sugar cane so that we can get some rum. I wonder if we can grow white right here. What's the land? No, not bad, and you know what? Let's... Even though I don't really need it to help me see where things are, we're going to till the soil. And create a growing area here for... Uh, no, growing area for sh sugar cane. There we go, just a little bit. I'm going to take one of these barrels over here, and you are going to be set up for rum. And then I think we have to set up a job here for... For cane must? Make cane must from sugar cane. Ruined by temperature. It's 22 degrees in there. I think you're just empty. Like, there's nothing in there right now. So I think it's a bit misleading. Sugarcane mash. Not must. Fruit mash. Rice mash. Oh! Make cane must, but it actually does pr produce sugarcane mash. Okay. Good. Um, do until... There we go. Oh, there you go. What you doing? Making wart. Excellent. Yeah, which is still the priority. We gotta get all that barley out of there, because it was taking up a lot of place, or all the hops. Whichever. I don't know. Things. Right, um... Whoa! We got a zit and a fire. Oh, come on. So we're losing some more power just up here. It's not even a useful place in our base. That's kind of annoying. Is the home zone set correctly? Yeah, yeah, everything's going to get put out. Okay. It's the wart from hops. So what do we do with the barley? Hold on. Barley, barley, barley. Brown malt. Ah, brown malt from barley. Okay. Do until... Oops. Like that. Herd migration. Capybaras. Um, no, we'll leave them be. So... Sake. Potatoes. Rum. Whiskey. Oh, no. Whiskey's from Cornwart. Brown ale from Brown Melt. Oh, okay. Do we have whiskey set up? Oh, shit. I don't think I do. Hold on. There. Whiskey. Alright. And assuming all the temperatures are the same, I actually don't know for sure. We'll see. Kevin over there, looking like a badass from the internet. <laughs> Big guy with the... Oh, if he turns around again. He's, the way he holds the pistol, he's got the mask on. <laughs> actually thought it was just a bandana he's got an actual proper mask so it's a little less tough guy from the internet kind of look 
Yeah, we're gonna let these guys go. They messed us up a lot last time. Could you imagine this whole herd aggroing on us? I mean, yeah, we'd have meat for days, but... <whistles> Alright, BLC. You're gonna do the plants, which are good. Trade caravan's leaving. That's okay. Little turtle over here. Yeah, I wonder if it like, let us know when it hits the max, because then presumably we'd be done at that point. Like, it's not going to give us anything else. I don't know. Um, Right, that's still waiting to get built. Alpaca is pregnant. Hooray! You're just practicing your gunplay. Oh, raid! Pirates, they would like to use sappers to tunnel around your defenses. What defenses? Does mean they're going to attack right away, though. Well, on that cliffhanger, I think we'll put in a cut... As these guys come in, now these are going to be, last few attacks have all been, um, have all been tribal people, so not very well armed or armored. These guys are going to have a lot of really good guns, including frag grenades and an incendiary launcher. This is going to be considerably more difficult. Um, you know what I really need over here is, like, another set of sandbags right here, like this. We put a little gun in the corner. Let me cue this all up. And you'll need power over here as well. I'm gonna do that. Um, just because, like, we don't really have a good way to cover from this angle. That's a short little defense. So yeah, this this will be good to build, but it's not gonna help us in this particular attack. It'll be a little scary. <sighs> Tune in next time. See you then.